Good morning from the beautiful Comoros Islands here just off the coast of East Africa. Oh my God, I think I've had the biggest travel nightmare of my life to start this trip off. Unfortunately, I've just arrived. It's about, uh, let me just check the time. It's about 8.40 now, uh, 20 to 9 in the morning. Fortunately, they've let me check in early. My reservation started today, so they've done me a favour there. My card did decline at the at the till for some reason. They don't take, um, or at the reception, I should say, they don't take MasterCard, as in on the card machine, they only take Visa. So the lady behind the counter was trying to pay a MasterCard through like their online portal, and it's declined my cards because they must think it's like a fraudulent transaction being here. I have informed my bank that I'm coming here, so I'm not really sure why that would be the case but that wasn't even the worst of it the worst thing is i took a flight yesterday from liverpool to, to dublin and then i had a flight from dublin to cairo and then one from cairo to uh, here in comros moroni which is is the capital unfortunately what egypt i didn't do was put my take my luggage off the flight coming into cairo i put it on the one going out so my baggage is still in cairo as we speak and the biggest issue with that is there's only one flight a week from cairo to comoros it actually comes in via dar es salaam in tanzania so it did my first ever tech stop last night the plane stopped in dar es salaam people for dar es salaam got off we stayed on who was staying on and um, until maroni until comoros which is where where we are this morning and yeah i'm basically <laughs> screwed i've got no clothes i've got no toiletries honestly i'm dying to like brush my teeth have a shower i've got nothing to to do that with um, I do have like a bottle of water, that's like, the only thing. I'm going to have to buy like a load of new clothes, a load of new um, like toiletries and things so I can enjoy the few days I've got here. Now that's, like I said, there's only one flight a week which creates a massive issue. Because usually what airlines will do is if they've lost your luggage or um, they've failed to put it on the flight before, they'll just put it on the next flight out. But I'm only here for, for like, well, three, three and a half days. And these guys have flights here once a week, so I will literally miss my bag arriving here. And the issue is I don't want my bag arriving here. Egypt Air saying, oh yeah, they've delivered it. But then I've left the country before um, I've had a chance to get it and my bag's just like left here and that's all my clothes in that gone. Um, so I want to avoid that really. So um, I've asked them to deliver it to Dar es Salaam, which is my... Um, next stop in tanzania but i but because the people at the um luggage place here the, the lost luggage didn't really speak very good english they filled out the report and stuff but i, I don't know whether they're going to try and deliver it here or they're going to try and deliver it to dar es salaam it's just been an absolute nightmare um if i'm being honest i mean the the only sort of saving grace is i'm in a new country uh, you've got beautiful uh blue indian ocean waters out there unfortunately i can't go in them at the moment because i want them swimming gear um, my swimming shorts are in my, my suitcase. It's just been an absolute, just been an absolute nightmare, honestly. I, one thing it might force me to do in the future is pack a few small toiletries in case this does happen again. Um, and, and maybe uh, pack like a change of clothes or something for when I get here. But I only the, the problem is I had a big suitcase and I've just brought this tiny light bag with me just to make it easier. Carry it like, it's a long travel day. I didn't want to be lugging loads of stuff around. And um, 23 hours later from le leaving Liverpool, I'm here uh, in the Common Ross and unfortunately uh, without my suitcase and I won't be with my suitcase until the earliest I get to Tanzania, I don't think. The problem is I can't call anyone either because if I call, let's say, Egypt Air, it's cost me like £2.10 a minute or something and I've not even got any phone signal here. So even if I wanted to call him and spend all that money, I couldn't. The actual flights themselves were fine. Um, other than my one, in, and this is why my bag didn't get put on the flight, but my one in from Dublin was delayed by like an hour and my layover was an hour and five minutes. So actually, by the time I got out the plane, I had 15 minutes sprinted through Cairo airport I'm so hot just sprinting through the airport Jesus but my flight's here so can't complain my flight's here and you leaving shortly that was a close shave finally got on though so now we're on our way to Dar es Salaam before heading across the Indian Ocean to Maroni so all this is dead sweaty now because I've been like sprinting through Cairo airport getting an absolute sweat on it's really hot in there Um got on the plane myself but my luggage didn't follow me so i i, I literally don't know what's going on I, I might just get a couple of hours sleep now um they said they sort me a driver to somewhere where i can go and get some stuff from like a supermarket like toothpaste toothbrush um, and then some clothes hopefully but who knows it's just been an absolute nightmare starts of the trip in there uh, 
I mean, it hopefully can only get better. I say I'm just worried about my luggage getting delivered here and it just being lost forever. One thing I want to start doing more of is showing you guys how you can travel to these places too. So for this one, I found a super cheap fare from Dublin to Moroni of just £295 and self-transferred in the Irish capital after taking a flight from Liverpool. I'd actually recommend looking at nearby airports in other countries to self-transfer at, such as Dublin, Amsterdam and Paris, if you can't find any direct or connecting flights from the UK for a reasonable price. And although there is better value out there, accommodation options in the Comoros are extremely limited and I stayed in the only chain hotel in the country. And Golden Tulip Grande Camori set me back approximately €90 Euros per night. Anyway, back to Moroni. Thank you. How are you? I'm good, are you okay? You are right. Where from? England. Uh, England, all over the king. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm a tour operator, I have experience for 25 years. And what's your name, sorry? My name is Jean-Claude. Jean-Claude, nice yeah. to meet you. I'm Tom. I'm Tom, okay. The sea is beautiful. Yeah, the ocean are wonderful. We have a blue, green. Can you swim in it? Yes, okay. You can, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jean-Claude was telling me how they make money here. It's yeah. from vanilla and what's it called? Vanilla and, and Ilangolang. Ilangolang, yeah. which, which is the thing they use in perfume. Exactly. You give it a scent. Is, you give it a scent. Yeah. And there's a call to prayer. For a mosque over this yeah, way. Yeah, We're in Moroni now, or uh, Jean-Claude called it Moroni Macaroni. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're just pulling in now to the this is the capital here in Comoros. Uh, the biggest city? Moroni. The, is it the biggest? The, big city. the, big, the biggest uh, city in the country. So you're just going to go and find somewhere to get some clothes, to get like a supermarket, to get hopefully a tooth, toothpaste, a toothbrush. That There's kind. only the one shop in Comoros is selling alcohol. And this sells alcohol? Yeah. The older hotel come here. Right, okay, okay. Yeah, one thing I need some shorts. <laughs> I'm wearing longs, it's so hot. Being from the UK, we're not used to this. This way. Welcome to it here, Moroni. Yeah, it's a bit wacky, a bit crazy, a bit wild, but let's go and uh, hopefully find some clothes with, uh, with my friend Jean Claude. There's one thing I love when I come abroad and I go traveling, it's a market. If you watch most of my videos before, that's what I said, and I just love all this noise, all the colors, everything you can see. And today, I actually have a real need for the market. So I guess some, I guess some extra uh, clothes. They'll tie me over till I get to uh, till I get to my next destination. So we're in Bolo Bolo Market. It's mad around here. One of the places you've always got to watch. <laughs> watch what you're doing. Watch where you're going. And if you're vlogging, it makes that so much more difficult. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ah, football. Yeah, this is not football. Our team, Komoro team. I think they only have small sizes here, so I need something a little bit bigger. Um, they only got like small, medium, and either have a large or, or extra large. Really. So they got all the shirts here. The Comoros national football team. I think you need more cotton t-shirts. So they get quite hot when you're uh, when you're wearing them. Uh, now we are trying to check to see. Yes, how much? Two, four? It's okay. It's, it's okay. okay. How much? I'm going to ask them. I don't worry. We ask them now. Thank you, bro. 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 Thank it says to down. Your best price. Best price? Uh-huh. Thank me. What shoe? It said 5,000. The shorts? The clothes. The clothes are not bad. 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 The Okay. 1,500. The t-shirt, we make a... Uh, Second. No. From the center. We just bought it. We have to have a cut. We need our salam. It's at 5,000. 5,000 for yeah. both? No, the only the t-shirt. Four. And one five. It's 5,500. So it's approximately 
you want your it's about 500 mm -hmm. franc isn't it and what's the best price on this? It's been uh, nine, nine he said the last offer for nine thousand. So she wouldn't take for all three ten thousand. It can. Eh? This, this, and this ten thousand. She said no. He said this only nine. Nine. So eight, eighteen for this. They're actually quite nice them as well. Uh, huh? So best price for this, this and this? Best price? Are the last offer 9,000. Let's we check another. No, no, but with these two Both as well. This, yes. It's only the last price four I4 and 1,500 is 5,500. Okay. Good for her. Merci. Merci beaucoup. I do like them shorts though, so we maybe come back later for the for the shorts, but I'll have a think first. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> At least we got a guide <laughs> who knows where he's going. Um, yeah, we're just looking for a few bits and pieces at the moment. See if we can find anything. Well, how much? The three. One, oh, one for five hundred. One for five hundred. Yeah, by three. Three. One thousand five hundred. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Get some FC Barcelona boxes here. Just so you're aware, this exact moment is why I'm now in my mate's phone as Barcelona ballies. Oh, can I get the black ones? Okay. These three. Three black. Yeah, yeah. Merci. So sorted with me FC Barcelona box to show. <laughs> so that'll last me till Monday. I've got one pair of shorts, three pairs of box to shorts so far, so I still. Uh, got a little bit to go. No, I've actually got a t-shirt as well. A t-shirt, a pair of shorts, and I'll some or three pairs of boxer shorts. There's two pairs, five hundred. Three pair. You need three pair. Yeah, yeah. Get, two get, pair. That's okay. Get me two. Two. Yeah, yeah. No, no, four. Four. See if you get that, this and this. One zone net. Net one zone in France. How much? One thousand. One thousand. Yeah, yeah, Socks done. <laughs> Socks boxes. So I got the underwear and the things on. Bonjour. How, how much? How, how? How much for this? Ma this? One thousand seven hundred fifty. For this? Yeah. Uh, how much for this? Or the all all? All same. Do you know if they have like hair hair gel? When you go to the supermarket. I get this. I get this. Merci. Merci. Thank you. I can brush my teeth at least when I get yeah. back. I can brush my teeth now. Brush my teeth. Yeah, right. I can go in the swimming pool. Whew. Hot day. How, how, much, how many? It is very cheap. That lady is crazy. He said 6,000, but we have. Eh, Derne Pri? He'll give us for 4,5. We should do 4,000. He tell me 6, and then he. Uh, no, no. I don't know what you said the last offer you do 5,000 but they make a meal for 5 for 5 but, uh, four. I said 4 yeah, no, I said Giri Merci Merci So short, good Cool down here. We have uh, our water. In the world. Yeah, and uh, you got the.
And if you have any like toiletries or anything, I think they might just do around here. No, no. Jasmine, it's special for her. You know Jasmine? Yeah, but not, not the colour. Like the gel to help it, it stay like up. Oh well. For her oil. Oh, yeah. Okay, no, 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 no. So they only have like uh, oil here to change it, yeah, like just for men, and change your hair colour. But I want um, some gel or some hairspray. But do you have like um, hairspray? Hairspray? Hairspray. If you no. want, to, uh, you're supposed to be gel, but you didn't have got my t-shirt so I just got some water for the room there so I'm gonna go and head back to the hotel get in the pool and um, my hair's gonna turn to crap unfortunately and I won't be able to put it back right again but uh, I won't be able to do that until uh, there's only been, uh, but I won't be able to do that until Monday when I go to Tanzania so not much I can do about it really How much? You know, I'm selling the hotel for 2500 The hotel is selling 5000 It's too, too much. Yeah. That's normal the price I sell for them. There's my hotel room. Just up there. I think that one. So, I've uh, stayed in my room a bit because one thing I couldn't buy before was sun cream, couldn't see that anywhere, and I didn't want to burn. So I'm kind of having to limit the time I'm outdoors because it's the sun's pretty uh, pretty glaring out here. And I mean, look at the, the background now behind me, I've just come out with the sunset and that is absolutely incredible. Just uninterrupted Indian Ocean. But yeah, it's just it's just been a frustrating day really because of you know not having your luggage and um, you don't realise until obviously you don't have any of your clothes or your toiletries how much you need really. I mean I've spent the taxi to and from the city centre Moroni today was expensive, it was like 30 euros. On top of that, um, all the clothes and the toiletries on spice probably another 40 euros, it's like 70 euros already. It's my first day here. Add in the visa fee before, so I spent like 100 euros. I've not even eaten anything today, I've not like, had anything to eat, I've only drank water. Um, and not even done any attractions, and that's that's what it's cost me so far. And I'll be lucky to get it back because I think the airline and the travel insurers will turn around and say, Well, you don't have receipts for any of this, but it's a bit difficult to get receipts for things here when they don't don't have them so for now i can just enjoy this unbelievable view and hopefully tomorrow will be a better day i just i don't even know how i'm gonna get my bag back i've been looking online um I tried tracking my bag on the egypt air app it just says my bag's checked in for yesterday's flight not that it's loaded it just says checked in so there's no further update um, I've not received my bag, they, they find my iPhone, uh, not find my iPhone, AirTag is showing that it's still in Cairo um, and they've not, I thought, to be fair, I thought if I emailed them uh, like their baggage reclaim thing, they'd get back to me um, they've got a special email for like baggage inquiries, I thought they'd get back to me straight away, they haven't um, it's been, well, I, I sent the message maybe about 9 o'clock this morning, it's now seven in the evening still heard nothing back so well, that's that's very disappointing and um, so i think it'll have to be sent to tanzania because there's no chance they're gonna even if they put on another carrier that it's going to be be um sent to Comoros in time and what i'm worried about is if it does get sent to Comoros, like you just ignore all my requests you put it on next week's flight i'll never see any clothes in my toiletries again because 
I mean, the toiletries can be replaced, but like the clothes, it's like I brought like two weeks worth of stuff, so I've got like loads of gear in my in, in there that's mine. It's just been an absolute nightmare, but uh, yeah, I suppose views like this make it <laughs> make it a little bit better. I had a good laugh looking around the market before trying a few different things on, even if all the people in Comoros are small um, and these don't be very big sizes. But for now, I'll uh, sign off there. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. It means a lot. I might need the subscribers um, to start making some money back after all this, uh, all this cock up. But anyway, yeah, it's been an interesting first day here in East Africa, here uh, on the island or, or one of the islands of Comoros. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.